Welcome to Chips of Math Physics. In today's video, we shall be dealing with pairs of simultaneous equation by elimination method. By the word elimination, it means things have to be eliminated. As simple as that. So let's jump into it. We've got two equations. We've got the first equation. This is our equation one. And this is our equation number two. So if you look at our equation, the first equation we've got x plus 6y is equal to negative 3. And uh, we've got uh, 3x minus 2y is equal to 11. So we want to eliminate uh, some values, maybe to find the x value. Uh, we might need to eliminate the y values in order to find uh, the value of x. So to do that, let's multiply. Uh, we can multiply the second equation by 3. Uh, if we multiply this equation by 3, we will have 3 times uh, 3 here. We have 9x. 3 times negative 2. Uh, that will give us negative 6y and uh, this will be equal to 3 times uh, 11 uh, that will not give us 33. Notice what happened in our equation now we have x plus 6y is equal to negative 3 now we have 9x from this equation we've already minus 6y is equal to 33. If you observe, here we have plus 6y and then we have minus 6y. That is 0. So, our uh, aim achieved. Now we've eliminated the values of y. So, add these two terms together. You have x plus 9x. You will simply get 10x. 10x will be equals to negative 3 plus, uh, you have negative 3 plus 33, uh, that will give you 30, positive 30. This is 30. So divide all through by 10 by 10. So 30 divided by 10 will give you 3. Uh, this will be 3. This implies that our value for x is equal to 3. So now let us find the value for y. We can use any of the equation. Uh, for instance, maybe let's take the first equation. Uh, the first equation says that uh, equation 1, equation 1 we have x plus 6y is equal to negative 3. But uh, we know that x is 3, so it is 3 plus 6y is equal to negative 3. So 6y is equal to negative 3, negative 6, because when we take this 3 to this side, it becomes negative. So negative 3, negative uh, 3, because we have negative 3, negative 3, will simply be negative 6. This is negative 3. So we have negative 3, negative 3, which is negative 6. So 6y is equal to negative 6. Divide all through by 6, by 6. This will give you 1. So negative 6 divided by 6 will give you negative 1. So y is equal to negative 1. And this is how we deal with simultaneous equation by using elimination method hope you have enjoyed let's take one more example so let's take the second question okay assuming that uh, we are given uh, we are given this equation 3x let's take 3x minus y to be equal to 
very, very simple equation and we take 2x uh, plus y to be equal to 13. Pause the video and try doing it yourself. Uh, remember what we did before we uh, multiplied some equation, equation 2 to, with some variable uh, because of what we have. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. But in this case, if you observe, we, you see that uh, we have negative y plus y. And our aim is to eliminate something. So what would be a solution? So solution... So now let's add this together, we will get 5x, uh, negative y plus y is 0, so this will be 0, uh, and this is equals to 12 plus 13, 12 plus 13 is simply 25, this is simply 25, therefore we can say that 5x uh, is equals to 25 but we want x so divide all through by 5 5 by 5 will go so we have 25 divided by 5 which will give you 5 so our value for x is equals to 5 now we need to find the value for y using any of the equation uh, let's use equation 1 so from the equation 1 Equation 1 says that 3x minus y is equal to 12. Substitute the value of x. We have 3. Our value for x was 5. Uh, 5 minus y. This is equal to 12. 3 times 5 is 15. So it is 15 minus y is equal to 12. y will be given by uh, 12. Um, minus 15 so the value for y is simply 12 minus 15 which is negative 3 negative 3 and this is how we deal with a simultaneous equation by elimination hope you've enjoyed it uh, do well to subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified as we upload us uh, videos see you galagash just before you go, remember there were this negative sign was still here. So, uh, if you add the negative sign, what we have done here is simply negative y by negative y. That this means one. So it also means uh, one here, negative one. Uh, that means that the value for y is simply three, not negative three. So this is how we deal with simultaneous equation by elimination. In the next video, we shall be dealing with simultaneous equation using substitution and graphical methods. Enjoy!